Welcome to MT Guitar. Today we're doing Honky Tonk Women by the Rolling Stones. Uh, this is a song I've played just countless times live. That's partly because it's one of my dad's favorite songs ever and he loves to dance to it. So uh, throughout my 20s uh, when I was playing um, countless shows in Northern California where I'm from, uh, where I am now for the holidays, uh, I would play this song. And so I kind of developed my own arrangement. Of course, this song is in open G tuning, which is uh, one of the Rolling Stones' favorite tunings. They have a lot of songs uh, where they recorded it in open tuning. But then if you watch them live, they'll usually play it in standard. Um, that's true with uh, Gimme Shelter and a few others. So I went ahead and made an arrangement uh, very similar to the, what I've played live, but I also kind of combined some of the riffs from the recording. So. Uh, it was kind of a fun challenge for me because I was so used to playing it in more of a, a live uh, setting and uh, now I'm trying to do more of a uh, accurate representation of the studio. So I will show you the exact studio recording uh, riffs and I'll also show you just a way to, to strum through the chords without too much fuss. So there'll be uh, both, both arrangements that we'll cover. There'll be a tab for this lesson on the Patreon, of course, and uh, Really appreciate your support. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I hope you're having a nice uh, holiday season. So let's get started and zoom in. We're doing this in standard tuning, and um, I've always loved it in A major, although they're pretty much in G major. It's a little sharp from G major. That's because they probably sped up the tape as they did off in that era. But to hit this iconic riff here, we really want to use the open E string in standard. All right, so there's a little cowbell in the beginning, uh, just to be kind of kind of as a joke. I played the the cowbell intro, but that's optional. But that would be fifth fret, third string, kind of in a little pattern there. But really, this song starts when the guitar comes in here on an A power chord. Now you could play the full A chord, but the recording does this power chord here, just the fourth and third strings. Of an, of an A chord with the, with the open fifth string as well. All right, so that's up, down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, okay? And then at that last down, you would do the riff. All right, so let's work on this uh, iconic riff here. And what's happening here is we're going to basically create a melody on the G string, third string, right? And keep the first string open the whole time. So the way we do that is picking the third string with our pick, if you're using a pick, or your thumb, if you're using your thumb, or your fingers, I mean, and using your third finger on the first string is how I recommend doing it. So we're going to go every time on the open E string. So I'll just focus on this third string. So that would be 4th to 6th fret, slide, and slide back to 4th fret, and 2nd fret, and 4, and 2. Okay, so so far we have. All right, then 4 to 6 to 4, slide. We slide back and forth. Like that. So. See that? 4 to 6, 4, and then 2. Now fourth string, fourth fret. Now second fret, third string, hammer to fourth fret. And then second fret. That's the whole thing. So the whole thing would be uh. All right, let's do it a little slower because that can be tricky. So three, four, uh. Okay, good. All right, so for when the verse starts, I'm going to show you what I've done over the years 
without the fancy studio riffs that are kind of a little distracting when you're singing. Uh, so this is what I've done for a long time and it's been pretty effective. And then I'll show you the more fancy riffs uh, that appear on the recording uh, that you can throw in uh, once you have this foundation built. I think it's a good way to go. So A chord, and we're gonna have a nice sort of rhythm here. So, on an A chord here, we're going to go down, down, up, up, down, and then you could do this little riff here that I've done a lot. Fifth string open, third to fourth hammer on, and then bar the A chord with your first finger. All right? And then we go to a D chord. Down, down, and then that's all we have time for. Now we do this classic Stones riff, right? Which is actually going to a G triad from a D triad. So we're hammering on to the eighth fret, second string, ninth fret, fourth string. And then you hit it again after you hammer it on, and then down on the D triad. So that would be. And then we're done. Then you have time for that riff again. This time we add a pull off. So that would be open, third to fourth fret hammer, A chord, 4 2 0 oh, pull off on the fifth string. Okay? So that's the first phrase of the verse. So let's try that nice and slow. Nice. A riff. Good. Now we have an A chord. Should try to take me. Just down, down, up, and then a B chord. We're gonna do the simple version that I've played for a while, just a B bar chord. Down, down, up, down. Then an E chord, down, down. Now we do the same riff we did on the D, but on the E. Where we go to an A triad, hammer it on. So 9th, uh, 10th fret and 11th fret hammer on on the fourth and second strings. And then you can do the riff again. Okay? So. Then we would go back to, the, we're pretty much going back to the turnaround here, A chord. Same thing as before. But this time we go to an E chord, just make it open. <laughs> kind of hard on the acoustic, but. So that, that's just a turnaround there, so let's, let's, let's back up for a sec. A Nice and strumming. We're getting ready for the chorus, so you can throw in a fill here. Seventeenth <laughs> uh, uh, fret, full note bend, and then and then seventeenth um, fret, first string. But uh, you don't have to do that. So you could just A chord E, and then you could just strum an, an A. Leads us in the chorus, and then the chorus is, is nice and simple. A chord. A chord. I'll show you some fills in a sec. Let's just get through it here. A chord, turn around. E chord. A chord. And then actually at the end of that, they do that little riff again. So let me show you now a more um, advanced version of the verse and chorus with a couple fills that are in the recording. Um, but that's pretty much the song. You, you've learned the verse and chorus, really. Uh, if you throw in these, you know, just those fills right there and the classic intro, that's really what I've done for, you know, uh, I don't know, 20 years or so or 18 years, however long I've played this song. Um, but when I was listening to the studio recording, it's like, wow, there's these beautiful riffs. So I'm going to show you those, which I did on the demo. All right. So let's start from the beginning of the verse. I met a divorcee in New York City. All right, after this, we have this wonderful little riff here with the E string droning. 10 to 7, slide, and then 5th fret, and then, so, like that, and then 6 to 4 on the 3rd string slide, and then 2. And you can see the lyrics start as that's happening, so it's a little trick, a little tricky. But then after this, to take me. 
instead of the B bar chord, the we, we can do this um, hammer on here as well on the B chord. She tried to take me upstairs for a ride. And then same thing with the E as before. Okay, so that's the first more advanced riff you can throw in there. That kind of thing. And then after the E, we go back to the A. D. This time the riff starts quicker. But it's just the same riff. Now when we go to the E chord, the A chord I've already showed you. There's actually two guitars. One of them's doing that, another one's doing 12 to 14 bend, 12th fret first string. That kind of thing. Now for the chorus. You can do the same thing. Or you could do a little riff there. And the classic intro riff, but it's slightly varied. You'll notice the Rolling Stones never play the same riff. Sorry, they never play the same riff the same way twice. <laughs> so I encourage you to try that out. I always played this song slightly differently, which was actually made it made this lesson a little challenging because usually I try to make a really clear arrangement. But in the spirit of the Rolling Stones, a lot of, a lot of times we want to have a flexibility and openness to how we play these riffs because. They come from more of the blues tradition where, you know, we're really just a lot of a lot of our riffs are improvised in the moment. So that's kind of how they do it. So let me know if there's any questions. Uh, check out the tab on the Patreon if you need something to, to look at. But it's a it's a fun song. Highly recommend learning it and have fun. All right. Well, then, everybody, a nice Rolling Stone song. Go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell icon, and we'll see you next lesson.